Hey, what's up guys, it's the Gimme Raz, and in today's video I will show you how to unlock all Steam achievements for pretty much every single game. There is, uh, if, if it's possible to unlock achievements uh, on Steam for the games, you can pretty much do this method. So you don't have to be like five minutes playing, some trophies take five hours, some trophies take five days to, uh, to achieve. Uh, pretty much I know a lot of sweats are getting, uh, putting a lot of work in it to get it. So pretty much if you have an achievement that you still haven't unlocked and you're really dying to get it, you can pretty much get it real fast. So the first thing first, and by the way, it only takes like two minutes of your time just to install it and then it's done. So if you like the video, don't forget to like the, uh, don't forget to subscribe. I mean, uh, pretty much I will leave a link in the description of the video. Go ahead and download it. If it's done, it's already done. So you can go ahead and go to this downloads. So as you can see, this Steam Achievement Unlocker, go ahead and open it. Pretty much what you need to do is you need to make a new folder. Here's a new folder. So this is new folder. Let's name it. Then what you have to do is, and by the way, I do need to open another one because I'm showing it to you guys here. So I will open another one like this. So pretty much open one. Everything you got in there, just copy to the new folder. Then you can go ahead and close it when it's done. And pretty much what you've got is new folder and a bunch of files in it. The file you need to, to pretty much start up for this to work is the Sam Picker file. Sam Picker stands for Steam Achievement Manager. So open it up. And it looks a little bit weird and it's so it's all weird. I know it's a pretty, pretty like old program that has been updated uh, a bunch of times. And even the older programs still work. So what we have now is Forza Horizon 5, for example. I already have 125 achievements from 137 because they actually added a couple of new achievements. Uh, I got some by myself, some I actually unlocked. As you can see, Dying Light also. So go ahead and pretty much open Steam, uh, or open Sam Picker uh, thing and search for the game that you want to do. So pretty much let's look for Forza Horizon 5. So we got Forza Horizon 5, when you click on it, there will be a new menu popping up. So this is the menu, downloading icons, doesn't really matter to you, but that's that. So there is an achievement that I don't have, which is called a new era. Complete all character chapters in the icons of speed story. I didn't do that, so I don't have the achievements. Let's do this. And for example, let's do this one, a true icon, uh, earn three stars in all chapters of the icon speed story. Commit changes, changes committed. As you can see, two new achievements. So we still have 125 achievements here from 137. Go ahead and refresh your profile on Steam. If you go to this, you will see that three achievements have been added. So we can also do the same thing now for pretty much all achievements. So invert all achievements. You have also a button here. You have statistics but you have also a button here. So pretty much unlock all achievements. There are some achievements that you can't unlock. They will be red for you. Let's see if there are a couple of them in Forza Horizon 5. So there is actually none of them. As you can see, commit changes, boom, there is a new one. There are 50 miles. Uh, so pretty much you can go ahead and click on this, unlock all achievements and commit changes. And you will get the achievements that you still don't have for the game. Also, what's also possible if you don't really want an achievement, which sometimes, not often, but sometimes actually happens, you can pretty much, as you can see, they are popping up the whole time, maximum out on the road again, time lapse. So they will be popping up for some time, especially if there are a lot of them. You can also, for example, because let's refresh it right now, so I'll show it to you. 137 from 137, so we got that. What you can do right now is uh, you can also like get rid of an achievement. So you can do this and you can go ahead and do this. And now you have 136. So pretty much what you did is deleted one achievement from your uh, inventory. I'm going to add it again to it and close it because uh, pretty much Forza Horizon 5 is done now. We got all the achievements. I will show also on a game that has the red ones, the, the ones that you can't unlock. So you can pretty much look for a game also here but usually what i see is it doesn't really uh it, it's weird about it if you like refresh games or you you like 
search for it because I think you have to do the Steam code. Cyberpunk is also a really nice one. As you can see, when I click on it, it's kind of like it's starting the game. So right now it says recently, recent activity, Cyberpunk 2077. So I got 44 out of 57 of them. Let's go to the Cyberpunk one. As you can see, they added a couple of new ones. So let's do this one. Defeat all cri Chimera. I'm not sure what's Chimera. And if I'm saying it right, defeat all Chimera. Boom, there is the, there's the one. Boom, let's do this one. There's the one. So I had 44 refresh. I have 46 right now. So that's working really well. What you can do, let's see if it has actually, it doesn't. So we can actually do all of them real fast if we want to. Uh, but we can also go ahead and look for Rust. Where do we have Rust? Um, I had I have a bunch of games. So actually also have Hell at Loose, for example. We can wait for it to load up and actually look for Rust. Here, Rust. So here is Rust. Is this one loading up or not? As you can see, these ones, these ones, these are the ones that you can do. So pretty much, let's see if I click on this. Sorry, but this is a protected achievement and cannot be managed with Steam Achievement Manager. So there are actually protected achievements, which you can't do. So don't don't even try those. Uh, and by the way, also like the the not the positive thing about doing it like this. If you click on this, for example, I'm not going to do it, but you will get eventually a bunch of messages from error because every protected achievement will give you one message. So pretty much that's that's why you're getting a bunch of messages for it and you can't do anything except for like clicking them away or clicking on okay. So I wouldn't recommend doing this one, especially for Hell That Lose, as you can see, it has a bunch of them. And some games actually have like a lot of them. So Hell That Lose have a bunch of them, as you can see. So it's not possible to do it. And also, if I was you, I wouldn't be doing like these achievements because as you can see, the achievements are still not even there. So be aware of how you're doing it. There is no uh, chances of getting banned, pretty much. I did this back in 2019, I think, for a bunch of games. It's so good. Uh, just uh, pretty much what you have to do is don't do the protected ones. and uh, But you can actually not do it, so it's all fine. Oh, this is Rust sta staging, staging Branch. So as you can see, this one I even already got, but this is not really something you can you can like even get. So still weird because <laughs> as you can see, six achievements. Uh, let's go for the regular rust. I didn't see that this was the, the other one. And as you can see, they also have kill three sharks with a spear gun. I don't have that one and I really can't get it, but I can get the Arctic speed and bad neighbor, for example, use a megaphone while another player has two cupboard. Boom, we got those two. So let's go again and refresh it again so you can see. Rust, I actually got 63 achievements right now from the 92. Let's see again what we can do. Battle Bus, Big Brother. Let's add those ones. Let's also add this one. Let's see which ones are still available, pretty much. Uh, that from above we can do so pretty much if you see that there is like some of them you can click on this but it's pretty much inferred like this let's let's do i'm just showing to you guys so let's go uh, 63 achievements few more profile Boom, 68 achievements. So these are the new ones that I got. Battle Bus, Buckle Up, Terror and Deep. Pretty much it's working for every single game. And I actually wrote a couple of games here. Uh, we get also Cyberpunk Among Us. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> That's an old game, right? And we did enjoy it when it came out, Among Us. Uh, let's see, Among Us. Let's really fast look for it just to show it to you because I don't have any achievements there which is a really good show, really good to showcase to you guys. Um, among Us, where is it? Fallout 4, Cyberpunk. Here, Among Us. Boom. So pretty much refresh just to show it to you guys. I don't have any. Zero. Go back to Among Us and they have 
all possible achievements. So unlock all of them. And as you can see, a sharp drift, a taste for it, a well-oiled machine. So pretty much they will be popping up all of them actually, Three, 33 of 33. So boom, we got all of them. And it's also fun because you will get some uh, some of them in the rarest achievement showcase if you have that uh, on. So Fuma profile, boom, you get it again. It's so pretty, pretty good. So that's it pretty much. Go ahead and download it if you want to use it. If you want to like, I don't know, if you have an achievement that's still not unlocked, uh, which you really, really want to have and you don't have like 40 hours of free time to spend on it and get the achievement. If you did like the video, uh, leave a like on it. If you really enjoyed the video, leave a comment and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day, guys. I've been on his ass too long, I think I had to hit his ass to you shit. You know that I'm the shit. No pussy, only dick. Feel so good, it made me.